Right, hello everybody. I'll um, try and project so you can hear me at the back. Can you hear me at the back? Good day. Right, so welcome to this um, extraordinary meeting of the Parish Council regarding the um, housing and economic land, um, whatever it's called, availability assessment launched by Huntington District Council on the 5th of October with a closing date of the 3rd of November. Um, the, I, the Parish Council's next meeting would be after that closing date, so we have to meet to discuss a response to that um, consultation. Um, there is a draft going round, if you've got it, of what the Parish Council is proposing to reply. Um, thank you all for coming down. Um, the first point on the agenda is to receive any apologies for absence and declarations of interest. And as a parish council, we have two people not able to attend tonight, Sharon and Rob. Any declarations of interest? Apart from the fact you live in Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Good. Right. So the next part, this is a parish council meeting, so there is an order and structure to the agenda. Um, the next part on the agenda is comments and observations from the public. Normally we keep this to a ten minute slot, but I'm prepared to let that go further tonight to hear as many views as people have got as they wish to put forward. So, without further ado, we'll close the Parish Council meeting and open the floor to the public. Would anybody like to make any comments? Yes. Mark. Right. I'm not going to stand up. Um, <laughs> I'm not available in principle to this, provided protection is um, very much all the way through any any proposals and so on. Have you checked whether the village design statement is still operational? We check it. Yeah. It, it is. is, yes. Thank I you. checked and it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the July the third meeting, yeah. as you know, Councillor Bates was here and he gave you four very positive in inverted commas warnings to be aware. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was very, very insistent that you consulted with other villages, which I hope you've done. Now, the first consultation was, oh, this consultation was opened on the 4th of October mm -hmm. for 31 days, which is short, I understand that. But you knew about this beginning on the 4th, before then, surely? In that Margaret, we didn't. Well, that, that's a slip up on district's part to, to do that to you. But you've had 28 days now to do this. You've made this proposal, which is three pages long. Nobody's seen it yet. You're expecting us to uh, rubber stamp it this evening. Now, the other point I want to make, um, Peter, is there are, are about 900 electors in this village, of which you are 1% as the nine on there. So you're not really representing us because we don't know anything about this yet, do we? And we've only got three days for you to, to change it. You should have had this meeting at least three weeks ago. And I think this is a major thing yet again of, of that. On top of that, are you aware that the um, July the 3rd minutes are not on the website in the new... In the new they are. They, are. There was an they were not <laughs> yesterday, so you've only just put them on, and that's another slip-up. The common communication, yes again, you've slipped up. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. Anybody else with any views? Andy. Have you consulted with other villages uh, between the meeting on the 4th of July and now? No. Because Ian Bates suggested it would be a good idea to do that he's trying to corral obviously views from all the villages to make sure there isn't a divide and conquer stance by HDC so why haven't you met with them? Uh, because we have not felt the need to thank you right okay um, have you been on any um, planning training courses that HDC run um, no right that would be a good idea as well because they why? Well, because Why do you think we need to go on a planning course? We don't make any planning <coughs> decisions. Well, to understand the planning process in detail. We have for been on parish council training meetings regard training courses with regard to planning. Right. 
okay, HDC run training courses to help parish councils understand planning in more detail, especially around complex items like this. Okay. There is no planning application on okay. the table. Okay, not yet. Um, have you met with HDC since the 4th of July? No. Right. Okay. I just, I just thought, can I just say something? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It sounds, um, your response to Andy sounds a bit, um, I don't know, a bit close. Now, nobody, I don't think, is saying anything about the position you were in on the 3rd of July. I think what everybody's really concerned about is the fact that there hasn't been any communication or any anything from the parish council itself to let the village know what has been going on. I mean, we have uh, Ian Bates here on the 3rd of July, mm -hmm. which is great. Now, I, I don't know how many people were in the meeting then, but probably not a lot because you know, very rarely is. So very few people have known about that. And then all of a sudden <coughs> this rears its ugly head. And there's a few days notice of the end of the deadline, and people are shocked with the proposals because we didn't know anything. Likewise, no, we, we didn't know anything. anything in July about this at all. No, but when you did, wouldn't it have been perhaps a good idea to have stuck something on the website we just to say, just, we I mean, have to just to say, you know, what the position is. And I believe you had an extraordinary meeting where no one attended. Now, that was about a different matter, not this matter. Right, okay. But all I'm saying is, perhaps, um, everybody perhaps needs to calm down a little bit before this gets going, otherwise we could end up with a swinging match, and I don't think that's going to do anybody in I don't think we'll end up with a swing. Good. Thanks, Ken. It was um, the consultation that was in July that Ian talked about was it, for the local housing plan to 2036, which um, in that plan, as we've said in the flyer that went to everybody and stated that is on the website, there was no mention of any housing development within Hilton at that time. Mm -hmm. When the new consultation housing and economic land thing was announced on 4th, 5th of October, mm -hmm. that is when the sites around in and around Hilton were advertised, if you like, put up. We did not know as a parish council before that time that, that um, that's where the HDC would go. Come okay. on. So, hang on a minute, Andy. Um, so, as a result of that, unlike the general public and other committees, we have to go through some processes. I have to find out who's available for a meeting. I have to make sure that this is... Um, when the hall is available because of the number of people that come down, we have to consider what is in there rather than sending out any inflammatory emails or comments um, so that we can come up with a considered response. That response has <coughs> been on the website. If you press agenda, it is there. Um, <coughs> and that's what we're going to discuss as parish council tonight. Okay? Absolutely. Andy, you've got your hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to... Um, Ian Bates did say on the 4th of July, so very clearly... There will be a call for sites. Please take note of this. Don't fall asleep at the wheel, or whatever his phrase was, um, on this, because this is coming up. Um, this was sort of leading to my question of have you met with HDC, because the first thing I would have thought, knowing that a call for sites was coming, and Ian Bates, uh, obviously county councillor and next district councillor, knew that, was warning us all, you, that this was coming along. So it wasn't a big shock on the 4th of October, 4th, 4th of uh, September we were late. invited to participate in call for sites. That wasn't a consultation that was sent to the parish council, so we didn't know that it was going on. Well, no, you said said to you what's going on. Yes, you did. Can I just say so? I didn't hear listening to this. You're sort of attacking the parish council. Like no, I'm just I'm just correcting something that. Did we? Can you speak up a little? Yes, sorry, sorry about that. What we got over here in the village. Paul, why don't we use this opportunity to gather the feelings and try and work together rather than just keep firing at the council? Well, we didn't get any yeah. sight of anything specific until the 5th of October when that document was, was uh, issued. Yes, it, uh, Ian Bates spoke to us in 
caged terms because he couldn't say too much at that meeting. Um, up until that, they hadn't seen anything specific. So he said very clearly that they called for science. So but actually, Andy, there's no point in attacking the parish council. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, Alan. Yes. I just wish to commend the parish council on a very intelligent, concise, and measured and responsible response. I will go through that when we get to it on item two, <coughs> so that everybody's aware of what they're saying and what they're saying. And I think it's important to reiterate, you know, it is just a call for science, and that's all it is, you know. I might wish to build a helipad on the roof of my house, doesn't mean I'm going to do it. <laughs> wasn't it in Japan yet? Yeah. <laughs> well, you missed that. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Anybody else? Andrew. Yeah, I, 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 like, I, I like to... Um, Agree with with Adam's comment. I think the uh, council's draft response is right on the mark. Um, I, and the, the question is, Boyd tonight is dealing with this particular document that the <coughs> council has, has issued. I don't think there's anything we gain by getting over the dates and times of who said what and when. Uh, it's just a question of the response to this. Um, council document. I, I think someone's gone through it in great detail and identified the things in the council's document that are not quite right. I just spotted one, some of them spotted several, several I thought it was the good bus service that was referred to in, 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 in the document. And there's obviously loads of other things as well. And uh, I, I think this draft is excellent. Anything anybody else can contribute to it in the way of any, any, anybody else has picked up any Flaws in the council document. I think they should refer to it and uh, assist, assist you in, in finalising your draft. Thank you. And personally, I think absolutely nothing can happen about it in this council's document. It's a long way off. Not plan, not planning applications, um, and it's a very specific thing. And the council response, as indeed it is, it is directed at the things that are raised in that document, not others. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. I think that's where we have to consider. Sorry. Yes. Hello. Hello. Uh, can I make a request first that anybody who's speaking stands up so we can see them at the back? Yeah. Okay. And secondly, okay. that they try to project as well because it's really hard back here to listen, even though my hearing is really good. Um, Not a problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, secondly, I'm quite because I'm not often come into these meetings, I'd quite like to understand what the format is. You mentioned gender item two, and I'm not quite sure what a gender item two is, and whether we have the opportunity to contribute into a gender item two, whatever it is. Yeah. So an uh, explanation of the whole meeting would be really helpful. It's a very short meeting in terms of agenda content. The second item on the agenda is for the parish council to discuss and decide on the comments that it will submit to the um, District Council in response to the consultation. The idea of this section here is just to try and gather some views from people as to whether what they think about uh, the proposed call for sites around Hilton, so that that information will be taken into the closed part of the meeting, which will be <coughs> discussion of that response. Okay, so the third point I wanted to make was <coughs> along the lines of, um, there's obviously some angst about the process. We are where we are, three days to go, and it would be great if we could now gather some views about what's happening. Um, I've lived in the village for 15 years, I love it, I think it's absolutely great, really disappointed if we're going to grow and just have more houses, yeah. I think that would be a detriment. However, I would like to see the opportunity of two routes, one that says Let's just discuss what happens if we try to oppose this and maintain the village. And then the second one that says, if the housing is going to go ahead, what can we do for Hilton in order to get a school, for example, or to get other amenities as, so that we're not caught short, whichever outcome happens at the end. And it would be great if the parish council could talk about how that communication and consultation is going to happen with the village at this point. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Jim, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, so if I... Heather if, Chambers. Heather, thank you. If I know your name, I'll revert and call you by name. That's right. Jim. Uh, just a couple of questions and then a comment. 
Uh, question one, what is the impact of the assessment that, that's described here? What, what practical impact does it have in terms of policy? Two, what is the plan other than a response to address that? Is it simply just the response or is there some other, are there other things going on behind the scenes to address this? And then a, just a simple comment on the, in the document, they refer to, I, I'll get it wrong, but the sort of primary employment opportunity in the village being Papworth Hospital, which obviously, as we all know, is yep. not going to be Papworth Hospital for very long. So. Another. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Anybody else like to say anything at this stage? Answer the questions? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I was formulating. <laughs> <coughs> I'm hoping somebody's going to prompt me. Andy, you'd like to put your hand up again? Yeah, just another couple of quick points. Um, I might have got this wrong. I read in the back of the Heller document about under the sustainability appraisal framework. Under the sites that have been, are being reconsidered, have already been uh, proposed as call for sites before. It mentions uh, north of New England and Gravely Way. Uh, there are sus settlement sustainability has a score of three and says has primary school and three of the five facilities above, which is totally not true. So, what is a comment on that? If that says that, can we, if I'm interpreting what it says right, can you make sure we put something in the response to say, well, I don't think that's right, if that's what it's the meaning. Already in there, yeah, they're good. Um, and just the last one. Is it worth rethinking about neighbourhood planning now? I know Anne looked at this a while back. That's a statutory process, unlike the uh, finished design statement. I believe Councillor Steg a little bit more notice of such things. So perhaps we ought to have a proper neighbourhood plan. I did go to a conference at Huntington District Council around... Um, neighbourhood plans and was advised that for a village this size it would be uneconomically viable to do. It would be a waste of money and a waste of time and effort because there would not be that size of development within the village that would um, warrant the time and investment into such a neighbourhood plan. Anybody else before I come back on Jim's comments? Just one thing on the VDS, the village design statement. That uh, you used the word statutory, it was adopted as supplementary planning guidance, which means it does have to be considered or it's a bit dated now, considered when planning applications and so on go through. Yeah. It's not completely toothless. No, thank you. John. I've got first hand experience in, at this moment in time in selling land in the village in Warwickshire. And within a month of the prop of the land being put forward by the local district council, we had six builders come in with option agreements over a, a three and five year period. Do you know if there are any option agreements on these properties? Not that I'm aware of. No, I'm aware Somebody of find out? Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> I'm still formulating Jim's responses. I know that we as a parish council are um, meeting HDC on another matter. Prelim meeting, that be right? So um, I would take advantage of that meeting to discuss with them about a bit more about the call for sites, um, even though that isn't in that uh, the purpose of that meeting. Um, so that, I think, answers one of your questions, Jim. Sort of. Ish, that we would look to investigate that further with HDC. Um, no problems with that. Respect was other Jim's other question. Impact assessment. Impact, Impact of, the, of this assessment. This assessment. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have a timeline of events that happened here. So uh, from to 2013, just before 2013, HDC launched a. Um, housing plan for 2036. Um, it was supposed to have been agreed a year ago, I think, and um, the council has taken part in when it's been appropriate to consult or contribute, we have made comment. Uh, that then resulted in um, July there being a consultation on the housing plan for which the council put in a response. At that stage, it supported the District Council's views that um, their 
development would be concentrated on um, I think it's four main sites St. Uh, Neitz, Huntingdon, Ramsey, Ramsey and Stanton. And there were supplementary sites um, of which there are a number. Again, the nearest one to here is Ben Stanton. And then there was Buckton and, sorry, I've got a bit here. Buckton, Fen Stanton, Kim Bolton, Sawtree, Sumption, Warboys, and Yaxley. Um, so we supported that, and that the, um, there was no implications for Hilton. Then on the 4th or 5th of October, we were notified that this uh, new consultation would be launched. The, call, the council had made a call for sites, and if you look on the call for sites, consultation, you'll see that there is a raft of land across Huntingdonshire put in on one would assume speculative basis by the landowners. I think it includes the whole of Pidley Golf Course, the um, whole of Abbotsley Golf Course and various developments around various villages. The consultation welcomes any individual to make comments on that website um, and at the moment there are five uh, replies from uh, parishioners of Hilton. So, despite the, with the parish council putting in a reply, I would urge you all to go on there and make your own views public, because it will be a public site. It is a public site because I've read what the people have submitted who have <coughs> taken the time to put that on there. You still have time. The call for sites includes five um, five sites around Hilton. There's one that is proposed on a flood zone two. There's one that HDC say that they don't really think they want to pursue, which because it is an intrusion into the countryside, uh, which is the one at the end of Gravely Way. Uh, the one north of New England is on a grade two flood zone. Um, there are then two, two sites to the north of the village and one site to the south of the village. Um, there are no planning applications for those sites. This is an opportunist could be viewed, sorry, I'll rephrase that, could be viewed as an opportunistic uh, attempt by people living around villages across Huntingdonshire to take advantage of a situation that Huntingdonshire District Council apparently have found themselves in. Councillor Doug Dew came to our meeting on the 3rd of October and informed us that HDC's uh, delivery of housing had been questioned. They were told they were 6,000 houses short, and part of that would be due to uh, planning permission having been granted and not taken forward. So the council then launched their call for sites, um, and that is what has been put out, and that is what the, where these five sites come from. The parish council is proposing a response that will um, ide or does identify that um, the application for building and development in Hilton falls outside of its own stated policies under the um, housing plan for 2036, <coughs> smaller village settlement plan, and the fact that it, um, it said on its criteria for the call for sites that a um, and I'll read this to you because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it um, should have a least four of the following. Primary school, doctor surgery, public hall, food shop or public house. Um, and the council is making a response in its uh, comment in its response that we don't have four of those. We have three uh, and also makes uh, attention to the fact that uh, HTC said Hilton had a good bus service, which we are aware it does not let on. Um, have a good bus service. Ever did. Um, yeah. Well, it's got worse, I think, <laughs> um, since um, a local company withdrew a lot of its services, and some services have been put back into a 12 month period. Um, so that's where the parish council is on its um, stance. It has looked Act and the purpose of this meeting tonight is for us to decide what the response should be. Um, Can I add? I'll just finish. Sorry, I'll just finish with it, Anne, because I just want to say that I think that in general, 
the, the village probably needs some more development. Um, it has undergone some changes through the years where there have been uh, a number of houses built which people live in today which wouldn't have been here unless there had been some change in the village through the years. But what is wrong is the proposal for these five sites as it stands at the moment. The, um, it contradicts HDC's present policies um, and that is what we should do to go back. We can invite a conversation with Huntington District Council to explain its own views on this um, consultation. Um, but at the moment there are no applications. I just want to stress that there are no planning applications submitted. This is a speculative call for site. If you look at the um, website there were a hundred odd or more across Huntingdonshire and we just have to take a reasoned and informed <coughs> response back to Huntingdon District Council to say where we are. And you wanted to say something. Um, Maybe you have to stand up so yeah, you can back. I just wanted to pick up the point about what impact does the assessment have on Hilton? Um, and it seems to me, and this is a personal view, uh, is that all depends on whether HTC is able to stand by its 2036 plan criteria for what gets developed or doesn't. And if, if it sticks by its guns and those cr criteria still apply, then <clears throat> none of the sites, uh, as far as I can tell from what I can read, um, would actually gain planning permission to build numerous houses. Um, so on the one hand, I'm conscious that the HDC, like the county, is under pressure to build houses. Uh, and we all know they cry around the country for more housing. Um, but it's de for me, it depends on whether that pressure is sufficient to push HDC to change its criteria. If it doesn't, then those sites are... I wouldn't say irrelevant because they're a wake-up call, um, but it doesn't look like anything would be built anytime soon on any of those sites. But that's how how I would see it. Thank you. Very much. All right. That's right. Anybody else got any comments? Okay. Just one quick question. I can't ask. No, no, no. It's a late. Like somebody put their hand up. I said, I'd "Come to them." Has there ever been any planning applications for any of those sites in the past? Not that I'm aware of. I know there have been some uh, draft documents about They've them. always been put forward for development. Have they? Well, <laughs> at least three of them have. Right. Um, but they've always, always been battered away by HTC because they've been, they they haven't, haven't fitted their planning criteria. But there's never actually been a planning application. There's never one been submitted for us to consider as a parish council since 2013. Right. So um, that's good. Yeah. Since two, since 1992. So, one concern of mine is the environment that is in Hilton when this all takes place. Yes. Number one, you've got the A14, mm -hmm. which will put traffic through the village mm -hmm. in excess of what it can cope with. Number two, you'll have approximately 500 vehicles coming from the estates, coming into, into or going out of, mm -hmm. which again will cause a problem with the air pollution and everything else. Yeah. Have you put this into this uh, document? Definitely have. No, what we're trying to do with this document is keep it to the... Um, because we haven't, uh, we, we've tried to just defend the policy that HCC's been yeah. talking to us about all these all these times. So if they actually went to a planning application, then yes, we'd have to deal with the sort of issues that you're talking about and many others. But because uh, we're at the very beginning of this, we are really just trying to point out the content of HCC's own planning policy. Yeah. And so um, if we can get past that hurdle, and uh, if should another application come in, should an application come forward yeah. after that, then we'll have to deal with the sort of issues that we're talking about. Just in response back, I mean, it may not be the time to bring this up, but at the moment, uh, throughout the world, we're talking about 
the pollution today on the television. And yet here we are going to increase Hilton massively by the April 10th. And I think it's something we should consider if even it's so much like today. Thank you. Thanks for the Yeah, no, we will. Yeah. Certainly a lot of the small, they're not small points because they're major <coughs> uh, global issues. I heard last week that the population of England is going, is going to increase to 72 million by sometime soon. I can't remember what it was. Um, and I can remember being at school and it was 50 odd million. So it's a significant increase. And that puts pressure on yeah. everything, doesn't it? Yeah. How many years? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, it just seemed quite a significant increase in a small space of time, yeah, which then puts pressure on. And we know that across the country there are increased housing needs, and we know that Cambridgeshire is a growing county with extra pressure on it to take more development. Huntingdon District Council came up with a plan which uh, met its call for houses. Um, <coughs> whether or not they have to address going back to the people who they've um, granted planning permission to and insist that they build or have to, you know, they get three years, I think it is, on planning applications at the moment. Um, um, but I don't think planners, but builders want to build ad hoc. They want to see there's demand before and hopefully if values go up then they'll get more money before they develop. Um, if they flood the market with lots of property, at one go, <coughs> it keeps prices static, doesn't it? Um, so there will be, across Cambridgeshire and Huntingdonshire, more development. Um, there is nothing proposed to Hilton at the moment. There is a call for sites, or there was a call for sites. And we will reply to that call for sites, pointing out the inaccuracies or the incorrectness of the, um, their own policies. And then we have to see what happens next after that. Um, and when, if, should there be a planning application, there will be bits that we need to discuss. Um, for instance, on the two, um, two sites proposed to the north of the village, access. Both show access coming out onto the blind corner. Now that wouldn't be acceptable. The one um, in north of New England is on a flood, a grade two flood zone, which is apparently acceptable within Huntington District Council's planning criteria, but we know houses in the north of that close were flooded a few years ago, so that would be something we'd have to consider. The one at the end of Raven Way, they say, um, is not being considered, because it's an intrusion into the countryside, and the one at the bottom of this road here, Church End, um, has an outline or suggested for 19 properties. Now, if that were to go, surely it would be more in line to keep it in line with the development along that road of singular houses rather than <coughs> an estate. What pressure would that put on that junction for access? So those are the sort of things that would be discussed if applications were re received or put forward. At the moment, we're not addressing applications for housing. We're addressing a policy and a consultation which needs comment to point out <coughs> that what they put forward contradicts their own planning guidelines. Linda. Linda, thank you. Linda, sorry. Is there a timeline for this? Have you got to have this in? Obviously, you've got to have your comments in by a the certain third of date. Yes. Are they going to then let you know by a certain date? Doesn't say. Oh, okay. From anything I've read yet, they have got to get their um, because they've been challenged on the number of houses that are short, 6,000 houses that are short, they have to, the reason we're told that the consultation is such a short period of time is that they want to put it up the line to the um, government, I guess, about where they where they are in re considering their numbers. Um, we will ask what their plans are, because I don't. Andy, before I come to you, because you've had a good turn okay. so far, there's some, another person had their hand up. Sue. Um, um, I can understand your response. I'm sorry. Um, I can understand your response uh, to the, the fact that there seems to be a conflict in, in what is being said. But um, it strikes me that uh, 
the impact that you were talking about is also about the number of houses that are here in Hilton already. And when you're talking about numbers on these sites, maybe your response needs to actually state the number of properties that are in the uh, in the village itself. I don't know moment. if that's what you're mm -hmm. planning um, on doing. We haven't planned on doing it because, again, there is no actual planning application that um, identifies how many dwellings there are. On the call for sites, HDC have commented how many they feel would be viable on each site. On the three, property, three bits of land that were submitted under the call for sites, there are two of them in the in this consultation weren't actually in the call for sites document, um, the numbers were less. So for instance, this, pro this piece of land down here was submitted with 16 properties and HDC have said 19. Um, this site up here was 40 and HDC had put 45, I believe, and the one beyond was up at 60 and um, in the call for sites documentation, or this housing land coming that one, says 95. So if they're actually quote, if they're interpreting space and identifying the number of properties, I think in, you know, there ought to be a response about pointing out how many properties actually are in the village at the moment, mm -hmm. because that has to be um, in proportion, whatever they're, whatever they're considering and drawing these numbers on, I think it has to be in proportion to the existing number of properties. And I just wondered, you also said about how um, there had been identified land in the past, which perhaps Planning Commission has lapsed on or builders haven't built on. Um, could you not be asking the council just what their plan is with regard to that, that land that was already identified as being a possibility? Because you know the land is there, and if the builders are, uh, are not using it, then that is an area that has already been identified as being yes. appropriate. Yeah, absolutely. I think we could add that into me. <laughs> we don't know where it is and what the quantities of property were on there. It was a comment that Doug made at the last meeting that one of their problems has been that previously agreed sites had not been developed. So we don't know where or when or how much. But if they were okay in the past? If they were okay in the past, yeah, absolutely. And it's something that HDC needs to address within their um, planning process <coughs> to jibby these people along to actually develop where it has been agreed. Well, I don't think there's any sites in Hilton that have been identified no, for planning no, no, and not no. built on. This was it. elsewhere yeah. within Huntington. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yes, Jim. There was nothing within Hilton that was included in that time. There's been no application proposed since 1922. 1992. Thank you. <laughs> For any of these sites within Hilton, um, there has been talk of the possibility, and as Kieran said, they may have been discussed with Hunting and District Council, but they have never got to the stage where a sustained or a detailed planning application has been submitted. John, what, what would you consider as a fair percentage increase on the property on the properties we've got here at the moment for development around 10 percent, 20 percent? Yeah, you must have an idea. The uh, just go back to the local plan. This is what HTC has been working on for best part of three years now. They, which is good, proposed to be rubber stamped in March, or the beginning of the rubber stamping process starts in March 2018. That has clearly said that Hilton is designated as a small settlement, infill only, maximum three houses. Although in the last version of that, the latest draft, they've dropped the three houses bit, but they're still saying infill only, and no expansion of the size of the village. Thank you, Kieran. <coughs> <laughs> on the point that John made, that um, uh, the number of, and the point made here, number of properties. If you take the worst case scenario, all sites being built on, I respect the point about floodplain, it would double the population of the village yes. by the calculations that they've given. Mm -hmm. So I think that point does need to be emphasised. There is no planning application, though. But don't you want to preempt some of these points by making those strong? Okay. We'll statistical that. points. We can, we can do that. Yeah. But the local plan already makes that point. 
the local plan that just says that the development in uh, Huntingdonshire will concentrate on the four uh, what we call spatial areas, which yeah. is uh, that Peter spoke about earlier, okay. and the selection of uh, key service villages like yeah. Constanton, where they have all the services that they need to sustain a bigger population without increasing car journeys. This has been the thing behind HDC's thinking with the local plan. Mm -hmm. Now, to even consider some of the sites, let alone all of them in, in Hilton, is counter to everything they say in that local plan. So, as a first position for us to take, pointing out that seems to be the, the most fundamental thing mm -hmm. that we can do. Because well, they're, they're already saying what you're saying. Is yeah, okay. While I'm on my seat, can I just say that it's good that the parish council are going to submit comments on behalf of all the villagers. But I do reiterate what you said earlier, that individuals should make their comments, as many as possible. Yes. The fact that only five have done so, that is surprising, given, of course, that we didn't have much notice on it. But I think more people who put their comments in, even if the comments uh, don't necessarily agree with the general comments you're going to make. Absolutely. Because people have their own personal view. Yeah. Um, on there, I'm a bit hamstrung, but if I if I were to put my personal comment on there, it would be that three of the five sites, were, or two of the five sites, weren't even included in the call for sites consultation. There are 11 sub pages within that document, and two of the sites aren't in there. Three of them are, two of them aren't. So how could the five come forward on the local plan, uh, on the housing and economic thing? But my start will be the, with the parish council's response. Andy. As long as everybody else on a comment. Um, I can answer a couple of maybe uh, questions, yours I think. Uh, HDC, have, I've, I've spoken to them and, and asked a number of questions around this. HDC say they're going to hopefully have a final draft of the plan in December. They will then open that for consultation. That will be the final chance for consultation before they submit it before March next year. So that's the timeline that they've articulated to me. On the increase in housing, what they've said is there is a new national formula that's been, this is what Doug Jew, I think, alluded to. The government are putting forward a new national formula because they know there's an increase uh, requirements, as you already said, for the, for the country. Um, the best they can work out from the formula that they've had so far, that's where this additional 5,000 5, houses comes from that's over and above what the current plan stipulates. So they're trying to work what the impact will be, but it looks like it's going to be about 5,000 houses. They do review it every 10 years, so currently that plan will be, uh, I think, an extra 400 houses per year for the first 10 years, but if they extrapolate it, that will get to the 5,000 houses before 2036. Okay. okay. Jim, how's your, how are the answers to your questions? Um, just, just lovely. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure, but since you invited it, uh, just one other quick question. Yeah. Do we know the source of each of the five sites? Do you know where each one of those came from? Okay. One I should is, know this probably, but yeah. forgive one me. One is owned by Boots Pension Fund. because it's Not who owns them, but who submitted them. Oh, they, um, Stratton Parker, for, uh, if you go to my comment that only three were included in the call for sites, then but, uh, two are Stratton Parker. And the third one, which is the Boots Pension Fund, I believe was submitted by Boots Pension Fund. Any other comments? Keith, I can see your hand up. <coughs> so, um, Sorry. Thank you. I think that's uh, whether the meeting could have been last week or this, I'm, I'm not sure about that time matters. Um, Thank you for all the work you've done. It seems to be a very logical position to to go on a fact-based um, review against their own policy. I think the point that Anne made that it really depends whether they stick to their own knitting and, and stick with that policy. So I think the question that we, we this group, and thank you for inviting us to be part of it, I think what we need to not advise you, but give you our opinion on, is whether we think that it would be prudent to put additional elements as well as the, the, sort of the detailed and, and I think diligent fact by fact thing that you've already done. 
and where they're actually a jamboree of other things to do with, whether it's pollution or whether they're sort of to do with village access and all those other things, would be a useful addition to the document. And that would probably be the most useful thing that we could do for you in the next few minutes, is to, to come up with some things if, you, if we thought it was a good idea to put them in. But I do start with the position that going against a factual document is probably the best way of, of countering this. So, anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else got any comments they'd like to know? Because if not, we'll um, close the public section. Uh, we'll get on to the discussion the Parish Council has to have <coughs> under its guidance about the uh, responses proposing to make to uh, Huntington and Shear District Council. Um, and then after that, we'll wrap the meeting. So thank you. Sorry, you okay? Okay, before you all go, just a quick question. A show of hands, if you wouldn't mind, about who's for and who's against this um, size. If you want, the camera's facing this way so you don't have to be seen. So how do you mean for or against the call for science? So, no. I think that's development. Development. How for or against development? Yeah. yeah. But no one's proposing. No. Sir. Surely what you need now yeah. is something inclusive that gives you a feel for whether people support what you're yeah. I think proposing I think that's response what I should have is said. confined yeah. to saying you're going against your own rules yeah. and therefore even the call for sites was inappropriate, legitimate, whatever it was, yeah. or um, do the majority of people favour including other things like the environment and the proportion of houses that might or might not be built. Yep. Personally, I would focus exclusively on the you're offside argument rather than muddying the waters with discussions that might also uh, come across as where well, we can see the possibility of defeat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's much better said. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'd like to ask you for a show of hands on whether you support the parish council's view that it should return on a fact-based uh, document pointing out that this um, falls outside of the Huntington Huntingdonshire's district council's own policies. If you support that. Yeah. I think that covers, that's a good majority, isn't it? And against that proposal? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we're going to have our next time our meeting. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're now going to go to item two on the agenda, which is to discuss and decide comments to be submitted to You will be aware that there's a fair clear and I have to reply to the council the council that they support the council's approach of a fact-based response pointing out the port uh, site is outside their local areas. Right? Yeah. I know there was some, yeah, mainly at the mid the I think it's been some small tweaks today. Fundamentally, it's fine. Yeah. Although you've got the ability to fight things up, it's still at the moment. Yeah. 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 Um, I will tell you that this morning, um, they said there may be local employment opportunities. Well, I think we should have yeah. Yeah. Peter, excuse me, can't hear a word anybody say. 
So we're going to add, but so the, um, question, the suggestion there was that we added in a bit about there not being local employment opportunities. Yes. That the point uh, was this made the Papworth and Papworth. We don't know the future of Papworth. It may remain as a hospital. There are plans that they might remain as a rehab hospital. So can we stay. keep the volume up for a so some places? Sorry. But we don't They've know the map. employment opportunities within. within so that's not even Papworth. Well, they, they, they mentioned the pattern. Yeah, but in, that, in, oh, that in the one, document. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to add that bit in. And the only other thing that I, I again, this would be a little bit, is they say that we have a village hall. Yes. We do. We do. You're right. But it's not run for the benefit of. Yeah. But it's a. It's a, a it's a commercial. It's a public yeah. hall, but all but village halls have to run on yeah. commercial yeah. It is a, it is a charity. A, it's an asset to the village. It's, it's still one of the rents. It's a charity. The, the point I picked up, and yeah. I, I'm not advocating one way or other, and I'm just sort of reflecting on what was said. And Heather's point about uh, what happens if we oppose it, but also. What facilities, amenities would we get, would we need in order to sustain any more significant number of houses? Um, and I, I don't know whether we need to make reference to that at all, um, or whether, whether I mean, we're saying it in the sense by saying your criteria are X, and we're now suggesting why it might be a possibility. Um, I suppose the the devil's advocate thing in me says. What if a developer comes along and says, that's no problem, we'll build you a school, and we'll build you a this, and we'll build you a that. Um, that kind of wipes out, potentially, those criteria. Um, well, other than the fact that they've, done, they've already identified where those... Uh, uh, so Across Cambridge, they've identified where the schools will 2036. Yeah. Oh, fine. I shall shut up on that one then. OK. Well, I think that's the point, isn't it? If you sort of... You, you have to argue against the criteria. And then if application comes in, then you bring out all the extra bits and pieces. Yeah, every every application will be discussed on its merits. But yeah. fundamentally, yeah. this goes against the bit that we discussed in <coughs> August, yeah. which had taken three years to write. And then suddenly, because we're short of houses, we're obliged to discuss five sites in a month's notice, which is it's a fundamental bounce back, isn't it? Yeah. And then it, it, if any application comes through, it will be discussed in the normal way. And does what, the, does one thing might be worth just because it might mop up a lot of these sort of bits and pieces, is mm -hmm. we have a summary at the end. We could say that we um, um, that we've uh, discussed this in public, no yes. meeting, nice that idea. we uh, took the, the very well attended, we'll get some idea of the numbers who are here tonight. We had a unanimous um, uh, vote at the end in support of this uh, document. And, and some of the views which were shared were worries about pollution and all the other things that have been That's nice. mentioned. Mm. So that it doesn't get in the way of the main thrust of the argument, but, yes. but it's still there reference. So it flags uh, things, doesn't it? Yeah. Which would be good. Okay. And um, the point made about VDS may fall into that piece that you know, the village design statement having a bit of teeth and still applies. Would that help the argument? Oh, that right, forget that. But you're saying no. Well, village design that it might be worth having a quick look at that because um, yeah, I'm not it's, it. it's been a while since I've read it. Maybe you are more up to speed on it. But it has been sanctioned by HDC, so it's yeah. another mm. piece of planning yeah. policy which yeah. they've said this is the way forward for Hilton. Yeah. I, I have looked at the village design statement, and it doesn't necessarily help what we're doing here and now. Okay. It would be useful if there were a planning application. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so it's not particularly about that. Exactly. Yeah. But it wouldn't help what we're doing now. No. Um, I didn't quite understand John's point about the builders having options. You know, when you talked about selling land and within a month we had six builders with options. It's down the line, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. So that doesn't... Yeah, I, I just... This is John Pine. I just wondered if there was uh, more information about these various sites and how far down the A path they might have gone, but maybe that's just a bit too far. A piece of land comes up with the development. Environment was quite raised, and then <coughs> I got. Uh, yes, a, a point that came out of um, what Sue was saying uh, about should we state the number of properties here? just made me think, well, do we want to ask HDC 
how they calculated the number of houses on each of those five sites, given that some of them have gone up from what the developers said. Is that just opening a can of worms? Yeah, I think that's again not applicable to this response. Maybe what we're saying is that no, I just wonder what's behind it. <laughs> oh, I think I can shed a bit of light on that. Oh, right, yeah. In uh, 2010. Um, there was the, the rural exception oh, yeah, uh, yeah. that came in, um, and that was adopted. To a certain extent, what that was saying nationally was that um, you could have development in villages, provided it was 100% affordable. Um, now, that would have increased. What has happened subsequently to that, because HDC were finding they weren't getting many people coming forward on that basis, okay. was that they had brought in their own policy, yeah. and their own policy is that 60% should be affordable, yeah. Yeah. and 40% market. Yeah. And they feel that that would be a better formula to go forward. I think that's been behind the... Uh, um, the numbers going, the numbers up. going up. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. <coughs> uh, and I think that's it, actually. So those are the things I've to follow up. Yeah. Well, we've got a meeting coming up that we need to clarify. But um, have we not got? Oh no, we're waiting for a date for that meeting, aren't we? On the pavilion. Yes. Yeah. So perhaps we could. Um, and that would be completely different. Yeah, yeah. But perhaps we could ask. <coughs> This is one. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be a good idea. And um, I agree that we should put in our summary that we, this was discussed at the extraordinary general meeting within the village and um, majority supported the um, parish council's view. I think we should put on the website a little note. Um, to say last chance to <laughs> submit your own views on the consultation yeah. site. And also that there's the website people can write individually. Sorry, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. So, yeah. so perhaps a little notice on our website saying, reminding people that it's the last call for them to be able yeah. to um, submit their comments yeah. on the Third HDC November. website. Yeah. Yeah. So are we going to send it to the invites and W and Hansen what they did last time? Yeah, why not? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Given that we responded to the, yeah. um, in a sense, part of what we're saying here is uh, what we said then is where we are now. And I just wonder if it's worth saying that out loud, if you see what I mean. <laughs> we responded uh, to the local plan, blah, 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 blah. And really, that's what we're, where we still are. We don't understand why these criteria yeah. are suddenly going to Well, the thing says we closely observe the formulation of HTC's new planning policy document, the local plan, and have been supportive of it as outlined in the detailed response to okay. HTC sent to Huntington District Council during the consultation period in the summer. Sure, no, no I do appreciate it. I just I felt maybe in the summary just to go. Yes, yes, it is a long yeah. document, isn't it? It's, the summary has to be has to be snappy. Yes, because you don't know how it's many. Of these. Well, sure. it's, it's 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 not long by itself. But you don't know how many of these are going to get, and therefore the summary has to be snappy the back and highlighted. Punchy. Yeah, I would suggest. I shall shut up now. No, that's right. So shall we add that? It's only a few yeah. words. You know, I can yeah. put it in in, At the, in the, the summary yeah. of the yeah. summary. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, yeah. make a quick observation. Go on. Uh, just to help Al on that point, in Appendix 2 of the Heller, there's a capacity calculations and illustrations section shows you how they calculate the, the numbers of houses that they've gone forward for each of those sites. Get to that point. Yeah, so <laughs> Appendix 2. Thank you. Um, I'm just Thank a bit you. concerned about whether we have the other bits of the environment. Um, because I think this was a considered document. This is a considered document. I just wonder if we're not careful. It's, you know, it's take, this took, what, a week to prepare? And we have to be careful that we have to have a few good ideas tonight that we put in and then walk us down what we said. Because then the position was that we're arguing against this change. And if you say other, you're throwing in other bits and pieces. I think well, it could be just a one line. That, mm -hmm. uh, in the summary, where we're going to put in, this has been discussed and agreed at an open 
meeting, the majority of the Inquiry okay. wanted to, su su voted to support the Parish Council's line. Um, other things that were mentioned by parishioners that cause concern are environment, economy, and leave it at that. I think yes. yes. It's, a, it's a minor, but it's only a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think, around this time? I think on the basis of we've, uh, I'm probably not right a bit here, but um, <laughs> <laughs> this was once was discussed at a well-attended public meeting where there was a unanimous vote in support of this response document. Uh, I could sort of say other views expressed were well, well, well one sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Additional views, yeah. I think it wants to be very short. Yeah, because yeah, I don't want to take it away from no, yeah. no what we've said, what has been said, because um, that is the basis of our response. But it might be worth putting a little comment in. I suppose also... Additional if, areas concern, that kind of thing. If parishioners are reading this, give them a few clues as to what yeah. they might want to do. Yeah, and having said something like, um, it's you, you had your land support, because I think that village is just full of nimbies who just don't want development. If no. you add that it's exactly. concerns over mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 being able to support yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, so you're happy with that uh, as we stand then, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, so um, the Proposed response, or the, the resolution, will be that the parish councils, in light of the majority view expressed at the meeting this evening, mm. submits its so long one. That's not that <laughs> submits its response to the Huntingdon Shire District Council <coughs> on the uh, housing and economic land assessment initiative. In light of the majority view on Britain Hilton PC, submits yeah. its response. Along the lines of the draft yeah. <coughs> document. document. Yeah. Discussed, at the meeting. Yeah. discussed at the meeting with small additions in the summary. Yeah. And I propose that's what we. Sorry, did you finish that? Submits its draft <laughs> response. <laughs> what did you say after that? With small, with with small some, amendments with in the summary. Amendments. Minor amendments in the summary. Yeah. Okay. To, to include Minor additions. some of the views expressed at the meeting. Minor additions. Yeah. Sorry, in the summary to express. Can I um, ask a question? Um, given, some the points, uh, given some of the points raised <clears throat> about you know, what happens if, mm -hmm. um, uh, and you know, not being on the right foot rather than wrong foot, is there is there really a requirement for us to say, well, let's let's assume the worst case scenario? How how do we respond to that? How do we deal with it? How do we Willingly accept or push back, or whatever the, the thing is, should we should we actually try and get our heads around that and be prepared? Yes, and I think it's a little like a Brexit proposed. New Deal. Really. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Every, every application is discussed, isn't it? I mean, you don't. You don't no, I'm not talking about applications. I'm actually beyond. I'm going behind than yeah. that. Sorry. Right? The policy. I'm sort of saying, well, what do yeah. we want? Well, I think we're we're outside okay the meeting now, aren't you? That's, that's definitely outside the meeting. Yeah, well, that's why I'm just going to flag it as yeah. a question. Is it something yeah, that we should put on an agenda? Yeah, yeah I think what we'll do is that um, we will discuss with HTC where this goes. And yeah. perhaps have to bring that to a meeting as a discussion point at a future parish council meeting. That's if you can get a meeting. Yeah, we'll <laughs> I expect they're busy. Yeah. I know so, this is a closed meeting, but the audience seems to, half the audience seems to have spoken so far. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please do. And I wonder whether a form of words like um, uh, we have um, limited our response to an analysis of the of the 
the call for sites or, or the sites proposed in the call for sites on the basis of the 2036 mm. document, should, should, the, should HTC um, abandon the 2036 document, then we will take it back to the village and, and ask for further, further comments. And at that time, we will request, request a more significant period of time in which to respond. So that you're not saying this is all we've got to think about. Mm -hmm. You're just saying, look, unless you live in the Nancy's, don't go with your, with your um, the document you have already. You're reserving the right to respond again. You know, you don't have to use the Lily Limit in But it sort of ring, it sort of gives the bounds on which the response is made. And yep. Which might be useful. Yeah. There's a, there's a oh, sentence right at the end that says yep. uh, request that agency confirms that the status of small settlement according to HTC guidelines and that it continues to engage with Hilton parishioners through the Hilton Parish Council. Um, that last bit needs to be worded, but, but you know, in terms of yeah. where we go next. So, yeah. so I wonder whether we talk about this summary and the thing at the end. I wonder whether the, the kind of the executive summary should be at the beginning, and, and it's, it sort of says states on the basis that this response is made. It's, it's on the basis of the planning guidance that's current at the time or is in process at the time. It gives the gives the five key discrepancies with that guidance and then that's so they've got that you know front and centre yeah. and if they can't be bothered to read any more at least they've got those <laughs> points. Yeah, I like that too. This is actually seen this, <laughs> this, this is what you asked and this is what we're responding to. Um, however, so what you're saying is, is make it clear at front. We're so limiting our response. Exactly. Exactly. Front summary at the front. First part of the summary scope, and then and then the points. Let them know you're keeping your powder dry. Okay. I, I, I just because we, there is an opening sentence in the document at the moment which says this draft document is to be discussed by HPC, and that would need to be changed to say that this was discussed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I do think it's good to have something right at the beginning, so if you haven't got time, or if you are putting documents on one part or the other, you know which part they're on. And this is the point of reference, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a sort of classic sort of document, isn't it? You write the summary. Scope first. Yeah, so. Yeah. Thank you. Very is that right? Give you on the scribe. So the proposal will change. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> So if we um, put in a executive summary, mm -hmm. the document, and then a summary summary. Mm -hmm. A conclusion? A conclusion. So you'd be happy with that? Yeah. 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 It would be good to know right at the beginning what, what the document is saying. Yeah. In cases, because you can imagine they would have lots of responses. And there are five sites submitted. Um, there is a difference in the way people have been responding on the website. People are um, doing a response against each site mm -hmm. in other villages. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there are people that are putting general things up. Just need to look at where we go with that, where we put five responses up. They'll all be the same. Or we say, um, site number, and they've got reference numbers, please mm. see the response on site number. By we, you mean prisoners? Mm. And for the parish council. But what is it put in one document in? Yes, but there are five sites that oh, just to make a comment okay. on each of the sites to say, please see parish council response or site number. Mm. And that's just in the document. Why not yeah. just put it on no, the on, on the site, on the yeah. website. Yes. When is um, because the submission is via the website. Mm -hmm. um, so I agree. I think I think you should just shove it on all five. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. also somebody's going to count them. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. more responses. Yeah. I think. Well, so, well, I think it, well, as Kira was just writing, yeah. can I just ask, how will parishioners get to read the final document? Because that will front oh, summary is what we're going to be taking yeah. in our comments, and we also need to have some instruction to put all our comments on all five, and we've all gone. Um, well, the communication for the next three days is how do we get access to that document? It'll be on the website. It's on the website. It'll be on the parish council. I've looked at twice now, it's not there. Two years. Click on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make it clear. No, no, not latest. It's not latest agenda. It's not latest agenda. No, it's not there either. I thought it was on the website. It'll be on the website. Look under Look under notices. Look under notices. Notices. It's just on the front page. It's on the home page. And it's got the announcement of tonight's meeting, and then we've got the agenda to touch that. So I think whether it's there or not is almost irrelevant, but if there's someone who's motivated to be here tonight, to motivated to stay to the second part, and motivated to look while she's here, hasn't been able to find it easily. So I wonder how many people are going to. So yeah, we're going to put it. It'll be different. Front page capitals. Day glow. I put it, I put it more in highlighted. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's not only the latest agenda. <laughs> it's under the agenda. But we will have a little. I think the agenda's under the agenda, but this is sort of. We will put up a different banner. <laughs> <laughs> just put just the other people. Read this. That's my point. People across. Share are commenting on their own particular village as just one comment. So people can, as long as people put a comment up. I think your point though that they're going to count them and say against North Hilton there were 30 comments, against Rayleigh Way there were three comments. That is a poth. <coughs> you don't know. You don't know how they're going to work, though, do you? Okay. So. Sentence, yeah, well, right. We have limited the scope of this response to identifying the apparent contradictions between the emerging policy of the local plan to 2036 and the call for land as laid out in the Heller document. That makes sense? Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah? Happy with that? Yeah. Thank you. And then a slide, that sentence at the end of the document. Makes that request that if we yeah. abandon those criteria, then we right like to come back and consult with everybody and respond again. I've done that. Okay. Yeah, it's already in there. So the change, change to say it's okay. been discussed at the late Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's embellished a bit. Yeah. So, good to go? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Trust. Yeah. All right, so the proposal is. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. The proposal is to submit a response to Huntingdon, <coughs> Huntingdon Shire District Council on the Heller consultation for housing and economic land availability <coughs> assessment. Consultation. as proposed and voted by the majority of people attending the meeting on the 30th of October. Subject to the small changes in opening and closing remarks. Do we want to reference the, what you said about trying to get a hold of HDC to borrow and find out a bit more? That's, that won't be that's no, for this proposal, no. but this is the proposal for the agenda item, which is to discuss and agree in response to uh, <laughs> this consultation. Mm -hmm. I propose that. I'll second it. Thank you, Graham. All those in favour? Thank you. There you go. That's it. Thank you. And we will get it on the website. And, uh, separate band. Tomorrow morning. Thank you very much. And um, we'll get it, then um, we'll need to discuss how we get it on the HDC website. Yeah?
Yeah? Because I guess, yeah, we'll discuss it, make sure it gets up on there. Yeah? And we'll submit it tomorrow, hopefully. Tomorrow or Monday. Tomorrow or Wednesday, we will submit mm. the parish councils. Just because I want, want to read it through. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah, of course apologies. you can. Um, do you have a mechanism for for soliciting parishioner advocacy, whether it's via Facebook or or next door or something to put a call out to the village to get engaged with this? We have other than posting something on your thing. Feet. You mean a leaflet drop? Yes. Okay. <laughs> If it is possible that this is a you know that this is a beauty contest or some sort of voting thing, it seems that you would want to engage as many parishioners as possible mm -hmm. to, to to get out there and, and, and put those comments up. Other than feet, I mean, what are, we, what are we doing to, now that you've got a proposal, now that there is a position, how are you getting folks engaged with this process? Done it this evening, thank you. It's done. Is it possible? Because the way I discovered it was Andy's emails me and then other people, and then you can circulate to other friends. I don't think you've got an email distribution that's actually mm -hmm. the village. Mm -hmm. Is it possible for you to ask them to work with Andy to get this document sent out to everybody? I'm happy to do that, yeah. Okay, that's up to my council whether they wish to go along that route. Well, I, I certainly think, think we should. Yeah, this is a big deal. Let's, so make it easier for, let's make it easy for people to do this. Are you happy to do that? Well, it would be useful to know how comprehensive the list is, though, would it not? Not better than I would like to make a comment on that, and that um, email went out to ask we had the opportunity. It would have been nice, but perhaps if this um, facility is going to be offered up to the parish council, that um, rather than sending something out that is slightly inflammatory, we could have worked together to send out a fact-based piece of information to everybody in the village to dispatch. I'm not going to. I didn't want to go there. That's Peter, I've, I've made my up to you twice before that time. An email I'd offered you. Can I? Can I just? Can I just say twice. something? Let, let, look, this is this is absolutely pointless. Yeah. The point is that there's been a failure of communication. The rights and the wrongs of it doesn't matter. What really matters is that there is something available he's got it so for goodness sake put everything else behind us and let's use it so that everybody knows there is absolutely no need for infighting in this village at all no. we're too small for that for goodness sake let's all just live with each other and just do it please and we will have goes back to what i said a few minutes ago you know we're going to end up with a bloody bun fight if we're not careful that's fine but the only people who's attacking anybody is you. Excuse and, me, and, I don't attack uh, anybody. And Andy Bush, at the beginning of this meeting, was embarrassing. Well, because you feel like that you've had a grudge, but I don't know what, I what you're doing. Well, I didn't attack anybody. I'm sorry, I was just asking I simple just, questions. I just you're said, always, stop. So we're, in the going, we're going down the path of I don't understand you. Let's just put it on our website. And then you can... well, oh, did I just hear Andy say that he was sharing his... Um, Mailing list, yes. No, I said I'd be happy to send out communication to the mailing list with the new document on it <coughs> and ask people to make sure that they comment on the HDC website. Yeah, I think it's a difficult one, isn't it, for the parish council to, for them to be sending things out to a list which quite clearly isn't everybody in the village. It's Correct. a subset of the village. It would be most useful, and I'm sure we'd all be very grateful, if Andy took it of his own volition to take this piece of information and put it out to the list because then that's not the parish council deliberately missing out the people that aren't on Andy's list that. and I think that's quite a difficult one because you oh, well you didn't send it to me you sent it to my neighbour not to me and I think you should probably keep 
a step removed from that, but if Andy hadn't sent it out, that would be a delightful happenstance, wouldn't it? Can, uh, can, can, we, can we invite people to uh, give us an email address that we can use so that we have... I think that's something we should have done a long time ago. We did. We did. At the time of the A14 consultations. I think well, it was by well, paper. Well, yeah. writing it on a piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's hard to know when you actually broadcast it, isn't it? Obviously, it's what we was a no brainer, but there are other times when you could have a double point. When you, well, when you know it's kind of a How many of our parishioners are of an age, though, that they would not use the internet? I mean, My dad's I don't not know why they use the internet. Come on. Yeah, I know. The reality is that people consume information in multiple ways. And relying on one thing, whether it's feed or email, Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> so four or five, six. It all. Yep. If you want to get problems people get themselves into through those items of social media. Can we at least get asked people to offer us the email? Look at the person of the United States of America. Don't leave anybody on social media. Yeah? yeah? yeah. So, you don't have to so, go there. Are you, you throwing the baby out with the bathwater? Is that what I'm here? Uh, not at all. <laughs> we all have our views on social media. Don't we? Uh, but but believe it, it obviously works yeah. very well because yeah. look at the it's probably the only method of guaranteeing 100% delivery. It is. Well, well, I believe it's not either or, is it? As Jim said, you need multiple advocates, and then if we've got a new website, if we've got a facility to communicate more broadly, then let's do it. Why not? I think the idea of having an email distribution list ourselves is a good idea because then we're in charge of what we're doing. That's the issue, isn't it? It's an editorial comment. Then you just decide when to send us that out. Oh, yeah, points do you send things in? Yeah. Well, that's workable out of all, isn't it? Yeah. Can I, can I suggest you just leave the future to, to the future? Yeah, yeah. I can have another, yeah. another discussion of exactly. yeah. communication okay. methods. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, right. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much. Just picking up on Adler's point, okay. how people are going to know, do we want to just stick things on notice boards, or is that going to happen anyway? Oh, I just we would put um, that. We could put notices up on the notice board to say you need to have to wait. Or whichever way. Some people do put the notice board. Yeah, so you're not going to get it all on the notice board. We now have kind of been. Well, that's what this get. We can do as you suggest. Um, and, and, the, and the post office, who's very good at sticking things in the window. Thank you all for coming.